Well, welcome to my new regular feature for the email uh, newsletter and my blog as well, although always seen first by the e your email subscribers. Um, and it's called My Favorite Tools. And uh, the, for this first favorite tool feature, I wanted to share with you a tool I've been using a lot lately with my hearts series, um, which is a traditional Chinese, or it could be Japanese, uh, ink brush. And uh, you notice that the bamboo handle, and it has characters on it. And this one has goat's hair bristles. And when you buy them, they're hard and pointed. And uh, the hardness is just from uh, typically gum arabic, uh, which is soluble, water soluble, and doesn't harm anything. Uh, it's what's used in watercolor as the binder. Um, when it's when you've washed the brush and you just let it dry normally, you can see that it appears. I've got a little split in my bamboo, uh, which can happen. Um, uh, the tip, point's gone. This one originally had a point as well. This is a smaller brush. You can see the width of it at the handle is much narrower, so in fact this will come to a smaller point. In addition to these goat hair uh, brushes, you can get sable ones. So here's one that again is, has it hardened. Um, and by the way, you can always restore the point uh, by using a little gum arabic yourself once you've cleaned a brush. Um, yeah, so the sable one has a browner color. Um, here um, is a drawing, a recent drawing I've done. I'm working on a heart series and uh, anatomical heart series. And most of this was done with uh, one or more of the Chinese ink brushes. So I just thought I would, uh, you know, make a few marks show you a little bit of uh, how I play with it. I am not a traditional Chinese calligrapher or a traditional Chinese uh, brush painter, but I did grow up surrounded by um, examples of that work and um, and playing with the tools because we had them in our in our home. So this is the one I've been working with. Um, this water is I think concentrated enough that I should be able to get a wash. I'm working with India ink, not with Chinese ink. Um, that would be the topic for another for another talk. So you see, you can lay down a nice wash with it, and um, now I'll twist it into a point on my palette at the side, which you can't see at the moment, and I'll get some uh, pure India ink loaded into the brush, and I guess I will work it in the corner here. I'm just going to adjust the point and uh, bring it in delicately, delicately. You can see the beautiful bloom working wet and wet. Right, so there's a fine line, wet and wet. I'll carry that fine line into the paper. But then you can also work with the side of the, t the brush and get quite a different effect. And what's lovely is I can then add to that, as long as I've got a wet edge, I can add to that. It's quite versatile. It's very responsive and expressive. I can twist it and pre vary the pressure as I go along and get quite a range of marks. Look, it's even splayed there, so I might take advantage of that and see what I can get. I can get lovely kind of very fine and wetter, you know, depending on the load, so you can blot it to even up the ink load. I would do that on a scrap piece of paper, but just right now I'm doing it on a corner of this paper. 
and uh, and play with it. Um, I will often squeeze it with a paper towel in order to reduce the ink load. And if I had a paper towel, I would do that right now, but um, I don't, and it's late, so I won't be able to do that for you right now. But if you go to my Flickr page, uh, which is linked on my website, you can see um, in the A Full Heart album uh, a whole bunch of examples of, of artworks of the heart done with this tool. Anyway, I love it. Uh, the final thing I should say about it is there, you can of course buy them in Chinatown, but uh, at bookstores and, and gift shops and so on. But um, you can get them at Curry's and other art supply stores, and the price is amazing uh, for this kind of brush. You know, it's anywhere from, I don't know, $3 to $14, depending on the size you get. This one would definitely be more in the, I don't know, 4 or $5 range. So it's an incredibly affordable, um, useful tool, and it is really suited to things like watercolor and ink. Um, or diluted, diluted acrylic paint. I have used it with acrylics, uh, acrylic ink and fluid acrylics as well. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.